Ladies and gentlemen, if you'll follow me, please. Now, uh, let's take a look at some of our patients. Jackson, what have we here? Possible fracture. Mm -hmm. Nothing interesting. Let's move on. Try to keep the line together, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Mmm. 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 Miss Brancusi, what have we here? The sunny rays tanning parlor went on the blink again, sir. Uh -huh. All right, we have uh, possible second degree burns. What's our procedure? Clean and medicate wounds. That's Tetanus right. Shot. When indicated. And if you get to it early enough, then you would apply ice. Very good. Miss Brancusi, may I see you a minute, please? Yes, sir. There is a child in emergency. A child? No, don't look now. He's wearing a lab coat. He's been following us all over the place. Oh, I think I know. Yeah, I don't care, Miss Brancusi, who he is. I want him out of here. Just get his parents, tell him to Amsgray Aune. I can't do that, sir. Uh, that child happens to be a doctor. I don't care. What do you... A doctor? A doctor. One of the new interns. No, no, no. I'm talking about... I know who you're talking about. He can't be more than 13. 17. He's some sort of child prodigy. Graduated from med school with honors. A doctor? Nurse over here, stat? Definitely a doctor. Mr. White, it says here you passed out at dinner. Dinner? Call that dinner, lousy, stinking banquet. And you've been complaining of nausea. If I have to eat one more peach mob, I swear I'm gonna just... Do you feel any pain here? Hey! Routine examination, Mr. White. My name is Dr. Schweitzer. Oh, yeah, I'm Mahatma Gandhi. How do you do? What's going on here? What is this? Please relax, Mr. White. I'm going to examine your chest. Hey, is this a joke or something? Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Gates. What have we got here? Temperature's 99.6, and I'm ordering a CBC. Hmm? A CBC? What's a CBC? It's a blood count, Mr. White. We'll just be uh, taking a sample of your blood. There's nothing to it. My, my blood? What for? You, you think I got, like, the flu or something? Could be any of a number of things, Mr. Wyatt. Acute appendicitis, pancreatitis, peptic ulcer, renal colic. Is that right? Maybe. And it could be that you just ate a little too much peach melba, too. We won't know exactly until we get all the tests back. <laughs> until then, you'll be admitted for observation. I'll want a GI workup. Hey, wait, 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 what's that kid talking about? Wait a minute, wait a minute, I, I, I can't just disappear. I got 56 newspapers to feed. Do you know who this gentleman is? Yes, he's a patient with an acute abdomen. He also happens to be a very famous newspaper cartoonist. That cartoon he did the other day, Mr. Wyatt, really cracked me up. Which one? The King and the Queen in the Reviewing Stand. Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> I have to get going. No, no, wait a second, Schweitz, you're gonna like this. See, they're reviewing this gigantic parade, and, and uh, they're, they're surrounded by the palace guard. There's millions of subjects everywhere, all kinds of pomp and glitter, right? And the king is whispering to the queen. He's whispering. But I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back to check on you later, Mr. Wyatt. Oh, boy. This kid's got a great sense of humor. I'll tell you what. You keep it. Well, uh... What about the 56 papers? Let them wait. <laughs> <laughs> Surely you have better things to do than make idle chatter with our patients. Of course, doctor. I can think of plenty of things to do. Oh, what'd you do that for? We were having a good time. You're not here to have a good time. You're here to get well. You know something? You take this world too seriously. Here, when I have some peanut butter. You shouldn't be eating that. That's what I'm talking about. Why don't you take... Oh, my gosh! What? Oh, something's moving under the covers, quick! <laughs> Mediocre replica of an arachnid. Don't you ever laugh, Junior? Medicine's not funny, Mr. Wyatt. Neither is the fact that you're eating peanut brittle when you may need abdominal surgery. What's that got to do with anything? Surgery is a very serious thing. Oh, yeah? What's that supposed to mean? Schweitzer! Just what the hell did you say to Max Wyatt? Pardon? Whatever you said to him scared him half to death. Now, what did you tell him? I only told him what I felt he should know. Oh, what you felt he should know was enough to make him check out of here. Now, I've just spent the last hour talking him back in, and then only on the condition that there be no surgery. Do you know what that means, Schweitzer? I was only presenting the facts logically and scientifically. Scientifically? Well, how about presenting the facts with a little humanity or psychology? I did my job, doctor. Isn't that what I'm here for?
Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm needed elsewhere. Clamp? Aren't you going to get that bleeder? Not until I've exposed it a little better. Probably right. Thank you, Doctor. How's your BP? 120 over 80. No problem. How's yours? Elevated. Yeah, it's open. Come in. Doctor, you wanted to see me? Oh, yeah. Hi, Elliot. Come on in. Uh, sit down, sit down. Uh, listen, uh, Sunday is your day off, isn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, what are you doing working today? Phillips asked me to fill in for him, sir. I didn't mind. Well, it says here you, uh, you did a double shift Friday, and, and you did another double shift yesterday, and here you are again today. <clears throat> a little relaxation doesn't hurt, you know. My work is my relaxation, sir. I just don't want you to burn yourself out, kid. I understand the pressure you're under. Pressure, sir? Pressure. And what, you find it easy dealing with life and death problems? Pain, suffering, that sort of thing? I think of medicine as a science, doctor. I don't permit myself to become emotional about it. But you're dealing with people, Elliot. People have emotions. They look to you for comfort, reassurance. A patient draws comfort from a knowledgeable physician, is that not so? Yes. Well, since I project an image of youth and inexperience, I compensate by offering my patients and my associates the benefits of all the facts at my command. Is that not sufficient? I think there's a little bit more to it than that, Elliot. Uh, I mean, there's uh, things like compassion, sensitivity, things that you don't uh, necessarily learn from books, computers. Where do I learn them? Um, what do you do when you have time off? Study. You ever feel a need to be with people? Friends? I'm late. I'm sorry. What have we got tonight, doctor? Everything. Malden called in sick. It's going to be you and Rhymes here. No problem. Now, Max Wyatt on five. You're to keep a close eye on him for any signs of pain. It's the only barometer we have for his condition. Right. First sign of trouble, call Dr. Gates. He wants to know. Fine. Yes, sir. Mr. Wyatt. Oh, yes, doctor. I already did it. He gave it to him? Quarter grain, just like you said. Hey, ain't it past your bedtime, kid? What does it hurt, Mr. Wyatt? You know, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt so much anymore. I think I feel better. Maybe I can sleep now. Oh, that isn't such a good idea to sleep just yet. I want you to keep talking. 
Keep talking, he said. I just want you to stay awake. Did you feel any pain here? Not as much as I did. And maybe this stuff is working. Yeah, it's working all right. Trouble is, I don't want it to work just yet. Here, have a drink of this, Max. Come on, just a little bit. Please, keep talking. Why? You like the sound of my voice? <laughs> Maybe it's my jokes. Hey, suppose you're developing a sense of humor. <laughs> Never too late. What do you tell me about your daughter? Uh, Haven't you got a daughter? Yeah, I got a daughter. Um, Margaret, Margaret, wasn't that her name? Yeah, Margaret. Well, how come you never talk about her? Not much to talk about. How come? Uh, last time I saw her, she must have been two, maybe three years old. Now she's probably 24, 25. You don't know? I don't remember. I was on the road a lot, traveling, tours, business. I was never cut out to be a father. Didn't you miss him? She got along all right without me. Max. Max, aren't you ever going to call her? I don't know. Hey, come on. What? What is this? 20 questions? Do you have enough information packed in that brain of yours? What is some kind of computer or something? How old are you, kid? Seventeen. Seventeen. She's got socks older than you. What are you doing here? I mean, why, why aren't you playing ball or having a good time? You got a family? It's good. Mother, father. And brother. I don't know him very well. He's a little younger than I am. And I went, uh, I went to a different school, private school. I only came home on weekends. Ricky's got, uh, he's got a different group of friends, you know? Baseball freaks. He's really good. Next time I come home, he's promised to... Mr. Wyatt? Mr. Wyatt? Don't go to sleep yet. Oh, don't go to sleep. been like this? About a half an hour. I was just going to call. He looks like he's been sedated. What did you give him? Quarter grain morphine. A quarter it's grain? It's all right. I've been with him. That's way too high a dose. You probably masked his symptoms. All right, Mr. Wyatt, I want you to try taking deep breaths for me, okay? Uh, there it uh, is. Breath sounds at the base of the right uh, lung. I need a liver and a lung skin. Uh, I don't want to die. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not going to die, Max. Don't worry. Uh, we may need to operate. Oh, uh, do it. Do anything. They call Dr. McIntyre. I can't stand this pain. Go on, call him. Go now. to give up medicine just because of one goof. Look, I didn't drive all the way out here just to have a conversation with myself. Yeah, I should have expected as much.
Okay, you made a mistake, Schweitzer. So what? We all make mistakes. We have to live with them. All right, fine. You can't deal with it. That's your problem. You obviously want to wallow in self-pity. Go ahead, wallow. I'm not coming back. All right. You're not coming back. You want to talk about I it? I can't come back. Don't you see that? Why can't you? Because you made a mistake. You don't think other doctors have never I'm made a mistake? not like other doctors. Oh, I see. More is expected of me. I have to be perfect. What do you mean, perfect? No mistakes? Like some kind of computer or something? Yes, if that's the way you want to look at it, that's what I am. I'm a computer. Elliot, you are a human being. No, I have to be better than that. That's what's expected of me. I have to be perfect. And I failed. Can't you see that? I failed everybody. Only yourself, kid. Oh, uh, forgot. Your paycheck, you forgot to pick it up yesterday. I remember my first paycheck as a doctor. It was exciting. It's wrong. Hmm? My check, it's wrong. What do you mean? It says a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, so? So? So it's wrong? A dollar twenty-five? No, it can't be wrong, Elliot. It came out of the computer. I tell you, it's wrong. It's a mistake. Elliot, that's impossible. Computers don't make mistakes. You told me that yourself. I don't care. The computer's wrong. It's wrong. I worked hard for this. I worked 20 hours a day and I worked double shifts. I worked harder than any other intern. It's not fair. I worked too hard for this. I always work hard. I always have to be the best. The very best. Cooking for a while. I'll try to tear myself away. I uh, came to apologize. Apologize? You? I did you a tremendous disservice, Mr. Wyatt. Someday, if you're ever again in need of a doctor, I hope you'll let me make this up to you. Why not start now? Oh, no, not now. Not for a couple of years. Well, I'll keep busy with research, that sort of thing. But who am I kidding? I'm going to spend some time at home for a while and be with my family. That's a good idea, kid. Take your time growing up. It's not the easiest thing in the world, you know. Okay, Max, you need some rest. Now, as for you, what would you say to uh, a double rocky road with lots of marshmallow on top? What's a rocky road? Ask him. He's buying. Wait, I'm buying? I'm broke. So am I. Yeah, but the cashier likes you. <laughs> she does? You mean to tell me that your old man never bought you a rocky room? Well, me and my dad never spent much time together. Uh, yesterday I realized how important a father can be. Hmm? He's kind of special. Stan, what's going on? Complete mental breakdown. Just couldn't handle it, I guess. I don't know. Make sure you rest in peace. Where's she going? Back to her maker. Well, look at the bright side. We'll be getting real paychecks again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least you gave her all. Especially to you. Wait a minute, Gates. I never cashed that check. What check? The one for $783,000. How did he know that? Well, according to my calculations, based on the differential monetary distribution, the remaining balance, based on the guesstimated total oh, payroll... Let's get that Sunday. Oh, I get what it is. You guys think that I would have cashed that check, don't you? Listen, I would never do that. I mean, even if I would, I would. Guys, 